Kate, and I'm going to be reading you a Bible story today from the Laugh and Learn Bible for Kids. Today we're reading about sin. Let's begin. What's sin, you ask? Sin is when we ignore God, when we go our own way, when we put ourselves first in front of our friends and neighbors, even in front of God. Sin is when we say to God, I don't care what you say, I'm going to do it my way. When sin entered God's world, everything changed. Why? Since God is all good and sin is all bad, sin can't be close to God. That sneaky snake knew this. He was trying to hurt God and he knew that if he could get Adam and Eve to sin, then they couldn't be close to God. God's very favorite creatures, the only ones who could be his friends and join his family, would have to live their lives away from him. Because of their sin, Adam and Eve had to leave the garden. They couldn't be God's friends anymore. Adam and Eve would have to live in a wild world all by themselves. The beauty, order, and plenty of the garden were no longer a part of Adam and Eve's life. The love and friendship and joy of being in God's family were lost. God was very sad to see Adam and Eve living apart from him as a result of their sin. He was very sad to see sin spread to their kids, and then their kids, and then their kids. All of God's favorite creatures were separated from him. But God had a plan. It was a rescue plan. The kind of plan you need when someone is in big, big trouble. Sin and the sneaky snake had really messed up God's world. But God had a plan to fix it, to make things right, to save Adam and Eve and their kids, and their kids' kids, and their kids' kids' kids, all the way down to us. What does God want to save us from? Three things. First, he wants to save us from the stain of sin. Sin can't be close to God, and when we have the mark of sin on us, we can't be close to God either. God wants to wash the stain of sin off of us so we can be close to him again. Second, God wants to save us from the power of sin. Sin has a way of whispering in our ears to get us to sin even more. The more we sin, the easier it is to keep on sinning, and soon, sin takes over our lives. But God can give us greater power to ignore the whispers of sin and live with peace and joy and love, which is way better than sin. And third, even if God has saved us from the stain of sin and the power of sin, we still live in a world filled with sin, a world filled with tears and hurt, selfishness and meanness. God wants to save us from the presence of sin. When the time is right, God will make a world where his family can live in beauty and order and plenty the way it was meant to be. God looked down at the world and saw that sin was spreading. His beautiful world was drowning in sin. God knew there was only one way to stop his world from drowning in sin. Drown the sin. Thank you for reading along with me today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.